Hey everyone, it is Danny and welcome to this updated video this evening. I hope you're doing great and we've got quite a bit to discuss. So I want to talk about the Climate Prediction Center's outlook. The rainfall chance is increasing for parts of the Caribbean as we're going to be heading into the first week uh, headed toward the middle of December that has been updated today. And so we'll be talking about that. And we also want to talk about the recent earthquake. So there have been two sizable earthquakes today, not very sizable, but they were felt. There was a 5.1 offshore of, of Barbados and that was felt in other areas as well, such as St. Lucia, St. Vincent, the Grenadines, Martinique. Uh, and there was a 4.2 this afternoon at 1.27 p.m. local time here in Jamaica, the epicenter in Portland, of course. Uh, that is where that fault line runs. Now, why are we getting earthquakes? Well, generally, earthquakes happen because we're sitting on pieces of the Earth's crust, which are called plates. Those are huge slabs of rock which make up the crust of Earth. So these slabs of rocks, these tectonic plates as they're called, they're always moving ever so slowly. And when they make contact with each other, that is when an earthquake is felt. So that is what is happening. Of course, uh, this is something that is alarming for many persons because in the previous months, September 21st, October 30th, and now today on November 28th, in the latter part of uh, three consecutive months, there has been an earthquake that is strong enough to be felt. Thankfully, this one was nothing near as strong as the previous quake, which was around a 5.6. But is this a sign that a big one is on the horizon? Really, no one knows because earthquakes are unpredictable. And this can mean that, yes, a big one could be on the way, but at the same time, it could take weeks, months, even decades for all of that energy to be released in that big one. So these small ones, they could be precursors to something more significant, something bigger. And we just have to ensure that we have the proper steps in the back of our minds to ensure that we protect ourselves as best as possible. Again, earthquakes are unpredictable. However, in the moment is what we do that can determine our fate. Hopefully there is nothing too crazy that is going to be happening, but there is the potential for it to actually take place, guys. So that is it on the earthquakes. Now we want to talk tropics. So as I said, we're going to be looking at what the Climate Prediction Center has. This is the latest update this afternoon. And we're seeing two maps here. The first one is for the week of the 6th to the 12th of December. The second is the week of the 13th to the 19th. And a lot is going on. We're seeing a lot of these shadings all around, but we're focusing on the Atlantic Basin and particularly the vicinity of the Caribbean. So here we can see it. And we're seeing those green shadings, which actually represent the probability of above average rainfall. Now, the areas we see, especially in that darker green shading, are those with a higher probability of actually experiencing more than average rainfall as we head through this time frame here from the 6th to the 12th and also between the 13th to the 19th because we're seeing that same shading across parts of the Northern Caribbean. Cuba, the Cayman Islands, Jamaica, Haiti, the Dominican Republic, parts of the Bahamas, the Turks and Caicos Islands, and potentially for Puerto Rico. So those areas could experience a Above average rainfall. Why? Because the fronts are going to be making their way out of the U.S. and may manage to dip far south enough to induce inclement weather conditions across sections of the basin. On the contrary, there are those brown shadings which indicate below average rainfall for parts of the South Caribbean, which would include the ABC Islands and even the Windward Islands as well. And uh, parts of northern South America and southern Central America. Those areas could experience below average rainfall. Below average doesn't mean that there will be no rainfall, but less than what is typical at the time of year. That is probable. Again, we're seeing that same thing or something similar rather for week two, which is the week of the 13th to the 19th of December. So that is what is expected. And of course, I'll be keeping you guys posted on all that is happening. So stay tuned. Now, as we look at the current satellites, we can see a lot going on across portions of West Africa moving off. We can also see a lot of thunderstorm activity developing across portions of northern South America, especially over in parts of French Guiana headed towards Suriname and also for sections of southern Venezuela, Colombia, and just offshore in the eastern Pacific near Panama. A lot is happening right there as well. 
maybe induce in some heavy downpours. And we know that in the case of a lot of heavy rainfall, there can be flooding. But generally across the Caribbean, there isn't anything too much overcast conditions for most of us, maybe with some passing showers. And of course, there's that front in the Gulf, which extends all the way out to the Atlantic. And behind that frontal boundary is a mass of cool, dry air. So very cool across much of the eastern U.S., as I uh, said this morning, if you saw that update video. And that is what is going on right now, guys. And also, I posted a new video to my second channel, Weather Extras. The link to that is pinned in the comments down below. So you can go ahead and check it out and also share. But that is what is going on for right now. So stay tuned for my next updated video coming tomorrow morning. And I hope you found this one to be quite informative. However, if you have any questions, as always, please leave them in the comments. I'll respond to you when I get the chance to do so. And remember to always be weather-wise.